Hi everyone, James here from QSIS UK, and I'm here to tell you about all of the latest developments in QSIS Designer 9.10. We've got new products, new features for the NV21 encoder, decoder, changes to UCI and scripting workflows, and much more. Let's take a look. Firstly, we have a new feature for the NV21 HU, which is that it can now do dual streaming from its HDMI and USB-C inputs simultaneously at 1080p resolution. Similar to the way the NV32 can encode three streams at the same time, you can now do two encodes at the same time on the NV21 in 9.10. Here is what streaming with the NV21 would look like in 9.9 .9 and below. We have two inputs for HDMI and USB-C, but we can only stream one of them to the network at any given time. But in 9.10, you can see an AV stream output for each physical input on the encoder just like an NV32. Here I've got a nice little script which protects a UCI layer using a pin pad. And I've made a layout here in the schematic view in QCIS Designer. But if we open up this component, we can see that by default, these controls are not laid out in the way we would like. Before 9.10, it would be difficult to reuse this text controller with the layout I've made in the schematic view. But in 9.10, you can see I can add a panel tab to each text controller. This means I can lay out the controls in exactly the way I want, which makes it easy to share, and I can also lock these in place. I can also adjust which panel is shown by default, which is perfect for sharing it with users who typically want to see the panel first, or other programmers who might want to see the text controller view first. Last but not least, we now have the option to prevent scripts from running when the design starts. Running on startup is still the default for every script, but if you want to prevent this, simply adjust the properties. We've always had the ability to change backgrounds using CSS. And in this example, I've created a state trigger for a UCI, and with every click, we're changing the background. First, we have a cute dog, but for the cat lovers, I also have a picture of a cat. But of course, what about people who like both cats and dogs? Well, luckily in Designer 9.10, we can stack multiple background images using CSS. And this is really easy to do. If we look inside the CSS code, we can see that both images are simply comma separated in that fourth CSS class. A big quality of life improvement in 9.10 is the new UCI toolbox. Previously, we had some of the most commonly used controls in here, but for many controls, you would need to drag them out and then adjust their appearance in the properties. But now, pretty much any control you can create using QSIS is immediately available on the left-hand pane in the toolbox. For example, I can drag out an editable or a read-only text display without adjusting any properties at all. Alongside this QSIS Designer release, we also have some new plugins on the QSIS Designer Asset Manager, notably the Shure MXA920 control plugin and also the latest version of Automatic Camera Preset Recall, which now supports the MXA920, as well as the Sennheiser TCCM, also includes an upgraded crosstalk detection algorithm and now supports up to 16 cameras up from eight. Of course, there's many other features, improvements, and bug fixes that I'm not gonna have time to mention here that you'll find in the QSIS online help file. So definitely check that out when you download Designer 9.10 and enjoy using the software. That's it from me, and I'm sure I'll see you again next time. Thanks very much.